Hey everyone, is it too late to buy Google? Simon, this is such an old pick, we are too late. My thesis is we're not too late, there is still room to grow. And let me share with you why I own Google and why I think they have legs also moving forward. We will cover the strategic positioning, but also the financials and the current price. So let's see if Alphabet is still something that you want to have in your portfolio. If you're new to this channel, I'm Simon Severino. I'm using this public portfolio, which right now has slightly above a million dollars in uh, net assets to do uh, live with you research, buying, selling. This portfolio is doubling every 3.8 years in net asset value. So we're growing at the 20% CAGR so far. It's the fourth doubling in 2024. We are on track. We should be at 2 million in 2028, at 4 million in 31, at 8 million in 35, at 16 million in 39, and at 32 million in 43 if we continue on this trajectory. But we will only do it if we stay sharp, research well, do not uh, sell too much. We have to hold long enough for this to compound. And that's why we do this research. And it's much more fun for me to do research live with you than to do it alone on my desk. That's why I'm sharing this with you. Also, I'm sharing my live trades in our community. If you want to get the live trades, enter, exit with me, I don't do many moves, but when I do them uh, and, and you want to know in the right moment, uh, then join our community. It's strategiesprints.com and then you click community and you join people from Dubai, from Sydney, from London, Berlin, Zurich, Vienna, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Miami, New York, uh, all badasses uh, that are really, really smart and we can help each other see what the individuals don't see so that we take better decisions. So let's go to Google. Is it too late or not? Let me know in the comment if Google is in, on your watch list or in your portfolio and what questions you have about Google. This is what I'm seeing so far about Alphabet, the parent company of Google. I think they own relevant data. They have pricing power network effect and they're capital light. So it's amazing, obviously, as a company. You know, they were for a long time because of their 45% net margins, they were like the benchmark of a good company. But now they are so old and mature and established. Are they still investable? I think yes, because their free cash flow per share is still growing the year over year. Their operating margins here is increasing year over year and their return on capital employed is increasing year over year. But Simon, isn't AI going to replace search and search is their main thing? I think this is something that we need to discuss. And I am on the opposite side of Brett Gerstner from Altimeter who says AI, that's how people are going to search. In a couple of years, people are going to search just on the application that has an LLM. And it's not search. It's not Google. We just ask directly the AI. I don't think so. And if you look around you, who is doing that right now? And the numbers don't tell that. So I'm watching this closely. Make sure you subscribe because I'm looking this closely because I'm invested in Google. So of course, uh, I'm watching this closely. Um, how would we see that people are actually shifting to search from search to directly searching on AI instead of on Google? Well, we would see it here in these numbers. They would start decreasing, which means market share would go down so far none of these effects it's happening i'm watching this closely every quarter so i would um, tell you immediately that there is a, a trend reversal happening so far look at these numbers they are just perfect we have it a 97 out of 100 in terms of quality it is modestly overvalued i think it's worth 150 dollars and it's right now trading in the 170s 180s I own it, I hold it, and I use every dip to add to my position because I think it will incorporate um, all the AI trends. And 
you know, I know Google so long now, they were actually the first in using um, uh, machine learning and language models. Uh, they are ready. They look like they are losing the AI battle, I know, but behind the scenes, that's not what the numbers say, and this is not what I see uh, when interacting with them. So, Google uh, is in my portfolio. Let me know. Is it on your watch list? Is it in your portfolio? Do you think AI will win and Google is losing its strategic position? Let's discuss so that we can take better decisions together. If you want to join our community and access my live trades and actually be part of the Monday sessions where I help you guys improve your business and your portfolios, it's strategiesprints.com and then you click community so that you can join us. Keep rolling, everyone.